yeah, I hit my first $30,000 month in January of this year, and it is insane. What's going on, guys? Today, we have Emily here. Emily is an absolute TikTok shop all-star. She has been crushing it over the last couple of months. Emily, I think the last update I got from you, you were doing like 20K months on TikTok shop. Uh, she's just taken off over the last few months. Super excited to have you here, Emily. Super excited to dive into all things TikTok shop. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I am doing awesome. <laughs> Emily, I think the I think the first place I want to start before we even get into TikTok shop, um, the other month you so you're in our academy, you posted something in there, and it was such an incredibly inspiring post just talking about your journey and like where you've been over the past year, kind of like how far you've come. Um, I was wondering if we could start it off like you kind of sharing like your journey, not just TikTok shop, but maybe like a con just like your content creator journey as well. Yeah, totally. So I have been creating content, honestly, since I've like came out of the womb, basically, my dad had this old camcorder, I was always making like little skit videos with my siblings and just doing that all the time. And then kind of fast forwarding uh, to about 2019, I started my uh, main TikTok page, um, ended up being able to grow that to over 100,000 followers, which was crazy. Um, I unfortunately didn't know you could monetize off TikTok, didn't know anything about that. So I kind of have just like had this page for a while, started taking content very seriously in 2022. My mom's house had burned down. I had just dropped out of college. It was a very bad time. I was in a really small town, not a lot of kind of opportunity around. It was really hard for me to be able to get a job and stuff like that. Ended up being homeless, was in a hotel room. Um, and then that's when I really started taking UGC seriously because I'm just like, okay, like if I'm going to do anything for my life and get myself in order like it's going to be something that I do for myself and like build for myself it's I don't know I could just have always had that like kind of drive in me I always knew that I would be like an entrepreneur or something like that and I started UGC in January 2023 um it completely took off I was full-time by March doing 5k months hit my first 10k month December last year so I just hit that 10k month and then kind of discovered TikTok shop uh, there was like this little agency that reached out to me and I was like oh I don't even know what this is and they were wanting to like onboard me so I was with them for a little bit um, and that's kind of how I got like a lot of my like products and kind of stuff to start promoting but I wasn't consistent until around Christmas time of 2023 and that's when I was posting two to three times a day about, and it completely took off. Those camera videos went crazy. Yeah, I hit my first $30,000 month in January of this year, and it is insane. So yeah, it's been awesome. Let's go. That is so cool to hear. Like such a wild journey, and then just to hear where you are now, I'm sure next month is going to be even better too. You're just going to keep climbing. Cool to hear. So you you kind of really went all in just like super recently with TikTok shop. It's not something that like, oh, you know, you discovered like way long ago. It's something that I, I like to get that message across for people that are out there that are like, hey, like this is literally something that people are starting like right now and they're just blowing up with it. Like this isn't something that you missed the boat. Like we're still super early in this TikTok shop world. I really want to like zoom in on kind of that process, right? You said at first you weren't that consistent and then you shifted to like two or three times a day. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, you had your first viral video with like the camera one. Uh, I want to like zoom in on kind of that moment right there. Like, when did you start taking it seriously? What did that look like? Were you like frustrated in the beginning? Was it kind of slow? Like, can you kind of talk about how that went? Hey, real quick, if you are interested in getting onto TikTok shop, whether you're an existing content creator or you've never done content creation before, we have just launched our TikTok shop challenge this is everything that you need to know about tiktok shop step-by-step -step tutorials how to get started and how to start earning consistent commissions if you want to join the challenge i'm going to leave a link somewhere below 
We have some crazy prizes in there too, like a free ticket to our 2024 in-person mastermind event. I'm super excited with this. I've really never seen an opportunity like TikTok shop before, and I'm super excited to see you in there. The first, very first like TikTok shop videos that I kind of started doing and testing was on my larger account with uh, over 100,000 followers on it. And that one, I was like getting a little discouraged because I don't think my followers were liking the shop content and it was kind of just like getting, I don't know, the views weren't, it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. And then I saw a bunch of people making like separate accounts just for TikTok shop. And so I'm like, okay, let me try that. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go all ham on this one. Definitely post at least twice a day. So I've been posting two, three videos a day on that account. I found these camera deals. It was a very good commission rate. And so I'm like, okay, let me try and do these. And then I'm like, okay, I just ordered the product. It's not gonna be here for three weeks. Let me try and do a video while I'm waiting for it to get to me. Um, and so I posted that first video and yeah, it completely blew up. Yeah, that was that. And then I posted um, a couple more after that, promoting that kind of same camera. So that the one camera video that you have that just went crazy viral, that was the first time that you made a camera video at all. That was like first take, the thing just went crazy. That's yeah. incredible. <laughs> I want to dive into that a little bit more, like play that video so people can see no seriously if you've been wanting a digital camera to take cute photos with your friends like this but you know to get photos with this effect you're gonna be paying like two hundred dollars in this economy absolutely not so i did some digging i searched around and came across this insane deal on digital cameras amazon is literally selling this exact camera for fifty dollars but it's on TikTok shop right now for only 17 17 dollars for a digital camera is insane plus they have different colors to choose from the sale on TikTok shop ends on sunday so make sure you get one before they all sell out i want to know from you why do you think that one went so viral and to my understanding that video probably makes up a large percent of of your commissions right that thing probably did what 15 20 thousand dollars for you um i'm wondering why do you think that did so well and how can other people listening maybe like take some of these frameworks or ideas and try to like replicate them for themselves my strategy definitely has been like for those videos i First thing was definitely, um, I don't know if this is the correct term, but like kind of price anchoring, doing, starting at one price, but then finding an even cheaper one, but then doing an even cheaper price. I feel like that kind of helped people, definitely helped the retention because you're kind of just like, ooh, like what's this deal? And then now it's even getting cheaper. So it kind of gets people to keep watching. And then another thing that I just do for all of my content is I'm always somebody that likes to kind of Feel like we're just on a facetime call like it's i don't really like to script my videos ahead of time just because i want it to sound natural and i want it to sound like yo like girl i'm calling you i found a good deal on these cameras you need to get one right now like that kind of vibe because i've just noticed personally for me when i'm super in my head about it and i'm spending hours scripting every single concept that it honestly doesn't perform as well because i feel like people can kind of sense that energy from your content that's such an amazing point. That's something that I like to share a lot too, is uh, you want to make it come off like very nonchalant. And I think you do an amazing job of that. Like, oh, she, she literally just picked up this phone and started to hit record. And like, she's just talking to someone and it doesn't come off as like overly salesy. So I think, especially in that video, you did a great job of that. Now, what you said about price anchoring too, I think is really, really important because in that video, I'm just going off of memory right now, but you kind of like price dropped like twice. Like you started off like, hey, if you want this this kind of photo or this kind of feel, whatever, you're probably gonna have to pay like 200 bucks. And so like, we're now we're anchored to 200. And then I think you go to Amazon and it's like 59 or whatever it is, right? And now it's like, okay, now we just dropped again. And now you're like, boom, one more time. It's, you know, 18 bucks or 17 bucks on TikTok shop. So it's like mm -hmm. this like perceived value, you start them up here and it's not like you're like selling either. It's just like so yeah. natural. And then it's like, boom, boom, like these are going to sell out, go get them now type of deal. Um, and then what's, what's that video at right now? How many million views is that? Um, that one's at 11 million. I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And it's probably, it's probably still just raking in commissions. I would assume. Yeah. It's been very good passive. Like I posted those videos and I've been like good, like barely touching anything. So it's been really nice. Yeah.
That's, that's so like the cool. beauty and, of it. And so I think I saw after that video, you did a couple like respond to comment videos as well, which is like a pretty big strategy that you'll see people implement where they have one video that does really well. Okay, now let's leverage that success. Let's re reply to some comments, see if we can get some extra commissions. How have those been going for you? How do you think about that? Are you going to like continue with that with that same style? What's your strategy there? Basically, um, I have like a few videos that have gone viral for like different products. I like to do a ton of comment response just because to get to those like certain consumers that are very like picky when they want to buy something I just like to like you know if people have especially when it's about like a digital camera people want to know about how to get them off your computer and like how to work it and just like a bunch of things like that so I think having like informational videos about the product too is very useful because that can also influence somebody's purchasing decision maybe they don't know if they can if it's like works with their computer or something. So I always like to do that. And then the camera company actually reached out to me after the first video went viral. So they've also been helping now with like traffic and things like that. So they've been sending traffic to all the other like comment respond videos I've been posting. So yeah, if you have like a video that goes viral, it's always really good to get in touch with the brand too, because they can help out with traffic to your other posts. Really smart. Yeah, they'll go ahead and they'll, they'll boost it for you. The other thing to note as well for, for all the listeners out here, like these kind of like respond to comment videos, they're almost like a version of retargeting ads, right? Because, you know, you have 10, 20 million people will see that main video. And then if they watch it the whole way through, maybe they click the link. That's just sending signals to TikTok that like, oh, they're interested in this, right? And then you make your reply to comment videos, which are maybe a little more salesy, they're getting into the features. That's the stuff that necessarily isn't going to go viral. But the people that are going to see that video are the ones that already watch it, they know they're interested. So now it's like, it's like more of these like selling on the back ends, like you said, uh, something about like, they want to know, can they, can they connect it to their computer? They want to know about the features right now. These are the videos that are like selling on the back end. So really cool strategy. Also, super smart of you to get in contact with the brand so they can start uh, pumping some more views your way as well. Emily, is there is there anything that you can think of that you would like to tell the listeners that you wish you would have known about TikTok shop maybe you know two months ago when you were starting? Things that you're picking up along the way that you want to share with someone who's kind of like earlier on their journey? My biggest advice is to just not like stop waiting to start and kind of just um you know, don't take it super, super seriously. Because when you're getting like I said earlier, when you're getting in your head about it, and you're kind of just like way too into the strategy of like every single piece of content you post out, you're kind of missing out on the numbers game and kind of the volume game. And nowadays, I feel like people are definitely gravitating towards more authentic content, more like organic content that's not salesy like people are already getting over kind of the shop links all over tiktok so it's really important that you kind of just seem like you're a consumer too i feel like my videos just perform a lot better when i do that rather than super analyzing writing scripts and everything it's an awesome tip and you've been you've been dropping gems in the academy lately i saw you had a uh, a nice post in there just like tips for people that are getting started on mm -hmm. tiktok shop so right now for everyone listening, we're doing a 30 day TikTok shop challenge. Everyone's kind of sharing tips in there in the academy, uh, specifically Emily's sharing some great ones. Emily, I want to hear from you what your experience has been so far as an academy member. It has been amazing. I joined in October, so I haven't been in here for like a super, super long time. But just even having the two Q&A calls a week are super nice. It's like because when I'm in my work week, I kind of run into little questions and I'm like, oh, I need help with this. So it's really nice that the calls are there to like ask anything. Nick and Michelle are super helpful in there. It's been amazing. Like all of the resources I could possibly want are there and everything I could possibly want to learn about is in there when it comes to content creation. And that's what I love about it. Awesome. And yeah, we're, we're, going, uh, we're going super hard on TikTok shop in there right now. I was actually telling Emily before the call couple of things that we're doing for our TikTok shop challenge. One, we're, we're flying someone out to a in-person mastermind, someone that wins. And we're also going to look to be bringing someone on to the team. We'll probably hire for someone that's within the, the challenge. But Emily, I want to hear from you now in terms of like the future strategy, right? So you just had this 
30K month in January, right? We just started February. What's the plan for you now, right? Are you going to start looking for new products? Are you going to double down on TikTok shop? What's the plan? I am definitely doubling down on TikTok shop. I actually just opened a brand new account yesterday. So I'm going to try out like a niche specific TikTok shop page and see how that works. And I'm just going to do the cameras on that account. But yeah, definitely doubling down. I think there's so much potential if I'm hitting 30k months now I can't even imagine where I'll be at the end of the year so I feel like everybody just needs to get on this honestly that that is literally exactly how I feel I've been just like I feel like I'm just like shouting it like I've been getting like family friends relatives people that aren't even content creators like I've been just really trying to push them to to get started and a lot of people are taking that advice and and seeing the results from it already Emily, this has been incredible. I'm hoping that this inspired a lot of people, also gave people some some tips and tricks on how to get started, how to actually succeed with TikTok shop. Recently, you released a TikTok shop guide. You're putting out some helpful uh, content as well. Where can we tell the listeners to go to you know, find more about you, to go follow you, to go check out your stuff? Yeah, so um, everyone can actually head to my Twitter. It's just at the Emily effect. And then it's just linked in my bio. But yeah, I have a full TikTok shop guide. It kind of goes into everything that I know. And then some of the tips that I use, you get like little pitch templates too, and things like that. Super cool. We will get that all linked up below. So definitely go check that out, guys. Go give Emily a follow. Emily, this was incredibly valuable. Appreciate you a ton for hopping on with me today. Awesome. Appreciate all you guys for listening as well. And we will see you on the next video.